everyone and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World the game and just like I said last time in the last episode I was going to make this one uh, of course highlighting the uh, the new dinosaur that is in the game um, Concavenator? Conca- yep I think that's how you say it Concavenator and it only costs 20,000 VIP points now can we see how good it is no we can't um, what if I was to go into here? Because before I commit to it, it's, it is 20,000 VIP points. So it's fairly expensive. Um, but the thing is, I don't want to uh, waste money on it. Uh, waste, uh, you know, VIP points on it if it's not too good. Uh, so yeah, look, Indoraptor. Wouldn't it be really nice if you could just like make that? That'd be great. How much does it cost still? Is it still like really expensive? 4,000 DNA. Okay, we're all... No, we're not really... All, well, we, we look like we're almost there. We're almost halfway there. But really, that's another, like, two weeks, if that, to get that bloody creature. Uh, the VIP creatures show up in here? I don't know if they do. No, they don't. Interesting. Oh, unless you own them. Uh, tournament creatures do, but uh, VIP creatures don't. Ah, okay, so we don't know if we're going to really make the money back. I mean, we are. We're go I mean, it's going to be a good creature because it's a VIP creature. Um... But the thing is, if we saved a little bit more, we could get two more Stiggy Molochs and get our... Where is, where's our Stiggy Moloch? It's somewhere... Yeah, there it is. A Stiggy Moloch from level 20 to level 30, giving it, like, loads more health and loads more attack and making it pretty damn decent. One thing we don't want is another Carnivore because we've got friggin' too many of them. If we look at our roster of dinosaurs, for instance, Carnivore, Carnivore, Flyer, Carnivore, Herbivore, Carnivore, Aquatic, Carnival, aquatic, carnival, carnival, carnival. You know, you know, no, not aquatic. You know what I mean, amphibian. But still, the uh, same rule applies. That there is in my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My top ten dinosaurs. There are there are six carnivals in there. Uh, so if we have a look, this is a level forty leg uh, uh, legendary um, VIP creature here. For some odd reason. Edomorphodon? Is that a, that's a VIP as well. So these are all the VIPs I have at the moment maxed out. Um, and then if we go down to level 30s, that's probably where Concavenate is going to stack. It's probably going to be there, so it's going to be pretty decent. Um, level 30, and may, I mean, Acrocanthosaurus is one of the creatures that isn't the best. Um, I think it may have already had a hybrid, I'm not sure. And then here you go, Zalmoxis, Antarctic Pelter, Enosaurus, Acanthostega. Um, these are all tournament creatures. And then you get back into level 20. So Stiggy Moloch, there you go. There's a level 20 Stiggy Moloch with double the health, or well, an extra 1,000 health on Pterodostro, uh, and less than 400 attack, well, uh, indifference. So it doesn't matter what happens here, guys. It's up to you. If you don't have dinosaurs quite high in your roster that are carnivores, and you have a lot of VIP points, Concavenator is definitely one to look for. But there's only one way to find out. And that's fine. No, it's not fight. No, we're not. Uh, Harry Hill. Oh, God. Oh, oh, Harry Hill. Oh, it's cringy. <laughs> but anyway, let's go. Um, oh, Concavenator. There we go. You know, I don't have so much a problem with him. I have a problem with the format. For, so, for instance, there is a program in the UK uh, called You've Been Framed. And if you're if you're Europe European descent, you know maybe you haven't heard of you being famous. How about just for laughs? Have you heard of that show? It's basically just like people falling over, and it's like home recorded stuff, and there's a laugh track put over the top of it. But in recent years, um, I know, right? I'm going on a complete tangent. Um, in recent years, um, there's been a change to that sort of format, um, where they've now got a commentator over the top. And the commentator says what is exactly happening on screen or something completely irrelevant. And there's always a laugh to it. And it's, oh, it's it's just awful. And most of the things on You've Been Framed are things from like 20 years ago. They're like VHS tape quality. Oh, it's just like, and these days, if you want to if you want to go funny laugh uh, uh, montage uh, thing, you just go on YouTube. And you can find, like, fresh stuff. There's, like, no need there's, like a, for that at all. Anyway, we've got loads of these. We've still got a Lumbia. A Lumbia and Concavenator. Now, con Concavenator, we'll not spoil it. We'll, uh, we'll just get it up. Now, Concavenator was a dinosaur in Jurassic World Alive. And that has now, like Stiggy Moloch, been transferred over into Jurassic World the game. He looks actually really decent. Oh, we're loading. Ooh. So there it is. Concavenator. 
So it has the Spinosaurus animation, but it looks really good. Um, it looks a lot smaller than Spinosaurus, um, from what I can see. I mean, from what I remember anyway, but it looks really cool. It looks so cool. I mean, of course, it's nothing's going to stack up to the Jurassic World Alive uh, variant because just like with Jurassic Park Builder, they're working with the base game. So there's only so so good that they can make the graphics. But I mean, if you look at this and you compare that to when Dinosaurs first released, there has been a major improvement. It looks so good. Um, so at level 1, it has 605 health and 351 attack. And at level 10... 907 health and 527 attack. And, uh, oh! Oh! Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm forgetting. I'm, I'm thinking of Indominus Rex who picks it up and then throws it down. So, pretty decent. Um, uh, I mean, it's mostly attack, if we've got to be honest. So, 9,000, there you go. I mean, at least we can use our food for something. The Concavenator is usually a solitary creature, but it is known to congregate at the carcasses of larger dinosaurs. Interesting. Um, I don't know how we can tell if that's true, but I mean, as always, when you hear facts, no matter if it's somebody, if it's anybody telling you it, always take it with a pinch of salt and try and research it yourself. That's if I've got to bestow any wisdom to you guys out there, it's probably that one. So, um, uh, ooh, have we rendered? Oh, the other video is rendered. Oh, fantastic. Yes. Hopefully without any hiccups, I'm hoping. Not the... Is it the dragon? No, the trainer, that's right. Because <laughs> it's toothless. Yes, there we go. See, I, I know how to train your dragon. So, um, we're going to buy... That was 20,000. So, we can buy three more, making it a level 30 dinosaur. Meaning that it's going to be pretty useful. Um, so, I mean, we're going to go in here. And... Is it going to let me? No? Can I not... Hello? Oh, can I not open anything? Okay, I'm, I'm clicking VIP, and, uh, yeah, uh, not, nothing's opening. I can, uh, yeah, that, and then can I click on VIP? No! Okay, this is really weird. Um, I can't click on VIP. <laughs> oh, hold on, maybe there's a way to shortcut it. Okay, here we go. There. Yeah, there we go. For some reason, the top things aren't working, but I can still access it just. Um, so, in, is it, it, yeah, concave in it is part of the solid gold packs, but there is only 7% chance. Of getting it. Um, so, because I've got maxed Apatosaurus, maxed Edomophodon, maxed Mat Ma Mastodonosaurus, basically maxed everything here except for Brontotherium, Thylacomilius, and uh, Concavenator. That's one, two, three dinosaurs out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, I don't even think I have Alumbia. Now that I think about it, I don't think he's maxed, I think he's level 20. Um, Ah, uh, it's 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 a waste. I've got to be honest. It's a waste of VIP vi VIP points or loyalty points for me because I've got way too many carnivores. But at the same time, I do want to see what <coughs> a level thirty con game and it'll look like. Subscriber bonus. So we are getting some VIP. I'm just gonna get the final one here, and that's gonna leave us with maybe. 8,000 VIP points when we op once we open the next one. There it is. So that's level 30. And um, to be honest, no matter what dinosaur it is, level 30 is probably um, the best you're going to get um, for, like, in terms of, like, resource ratio. Level 40 is always going to be better than level 30s, of course. But if you're worried about, you know, having some DNA left over or loyalty points left over, um, you've got to watch out for that as well. So the thing is, right... You, if you're a VIP, you get like sometimes an exclusive offer, but it's never in the other favor. So you can never trade things for VIP points. So if you do, it's very rare. It should be always the case of there should be two trades. There should be loyalty points for this or um, uh, this for loyalty points. And for instance, this is a VIP only, right? So it shouldn't be 10,000 for her notice. I mean, yes, it's, it's all right. It's pretty decent. But it's still, you could buy a, you know, you could go into the, uh, what's it called? Can I do it now? No, I can't even do it yet. <laughs> I have to go to here and then click, click this one. So I could buy a solid gold pack for the same amount of VIP points and have a chance of getting it. So what they're saying is, oh, if you buy VIP points, you get guaranteed of that. But 
Saying that, you don't get the VIP points back that you get for opening the pack, and you don't get the other resources. So it's not worth it at all. You might think at a glance, oh, at least I get Hanudas. No, it's not worth it. So really, if Ludia want to make this more uh, appealing, they need to turn that down by a lot. Uh, it sh if anything, it should be 10,000 loyalty points for a Honodus pack. That way you get all of the same things as well as the VIP points on top and you're guaranteed the Honodus. A Honodus alone is not worth it. And there is my uh, rant right there. <laughs> Just gotta get that out of the system. So, we, I am dotting all about here. Um, so we need to go to here and then go into carnivores. And it should be not too far away. Uh, there it is, Concavenator. So for 100 bucks, there you go. We might, you know what, we may as well get the other ones. The only problem is there's no way for us to sell things for uh, VIP points. Like, I would love to sell maybe some other VIP creatures I have um, that I've got multiples of four VIP points, but you can't do that because you can only sell them for DNA. So again, that's something that would be graciously, i love to be added to the game. I would really enjoy that. Um, but hey, what are you going to do? So we're going to level this up to level 10 and then fuse it to a level 20. See, I, I mean, it's about 900 health, right? So a level 20, you think one thousand eight hundred and maybe a thousand attack, but I don't think that's the case. Already, we've got 1,176 at level 11. Uh, so let's get it to level 20, 1,554 health and 902 attack. And, ooh, some nice color to it. Uh, that's interesting. Okay, so let's level up these guys as well to level 20. Oh, instantaneous that time. Ooh, right. So we're going to do this. Um... And there we go, we get that also up to level 20. Now, I mean, at this point, there's no point in me looking at coins at all. Um, so we'll have a look at this. Claim the reward. Uh, 20, 50, 60, I don't know how many thousand that was. Even though Concave has large claws, it uses its mouth for most of its attacks. Basically like most predatory carnivores or therapod carnivores anyway. Or any carnivore usually uses its mouth to kill its prey. Um, there's going to be somebody in the comments will actually be there. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll do a PvP quickly. Because uh, I just want to see these concavenators in action and not in the visitor center. So there you go. There's two of them. And you know what? For good measure, let's put the sticky Moloch in. So if there is one glacier creature here, we won't be in the outdoors on the helipad. And unfortunately, that's good. That's actually what I wanted. So concavenator. Yeah, there you go. So pretty much stacks up to level 40 super rare legendaries. Uh, I'm going to go for a block here. Just because um, he can kill me in two hits. Hopefully he does go for two. Uh, and he does. Fantastic. That means I can go for two block. And make sure that we're definitely alive. I was hoping there was going to be one reserve in there. I was wrong. <laughs> but this, to me, I love this arena and I never get to play in it. Like, as, as a person who constantly plays this game over and over and over, I only get to see the visitor center. And maybe the aquatic as well. Um, so it's really nice to see different environments. It would love to. I'd love it if it was random. Um, so there you go. There's one concavenator down. Now he's got one block. Um, when I know two again. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you will fight. Shove it in. <laughs> uh, so he dies in two. Factor in one just in case. And then three just in case he didn't. Ah, there you go. So we're definitely alive. Concavenator gets the kill. So it is the uh, Spinosaurus animation, the Acrocanthosaurus animation, stuff like that. Not too fussed about it. Um, it's it's a very interesting dinosaur looking, isn't it? I should really uh, look into that a little bit more. Oh, it's interesting to see how slow the animations are now. So, I'm going to switch into Stiggy Moloch. I know, I'm sorry. But um, Stiggy Moloch um, I'd it doesn't have advantage against anything and has disadvantage against Soprano Titan. So I'd rather it, you know, it died rather than Concavenator. Because once we take care of Soprano Titan... I'm sorry, Stiggy! I know, comic really for Saurus. You'll get there. Um, join the ranks of Ceratosaurus, like in Jurassic Park 3. So he's got one block, uh, so we go for that. He's definitely dead, I think. Factor in now, I think we can take two hits from Gigacephalus. Yeah, we could definitely take two hits now. Well, we're going to take one hit from it. Uh, but if it didn't block and it did have a reserve, two hits would not have done anything to us, and we've killed it in two hits. So we've won with Concavenator. Awesome. And then we can fuse those two very Concavenators to make an even better one. See, it has to have a victory. 
And that makes it have a double kill. There you go. So we don't get to see its full on 8 animation. We may be able to see that in the next battle. But we get to see it. It looks really tiny. Like the camera is so zoomed out. That's weird. But let's see what we win. Hopefully VIP points. Probably not, because uh, the game's very stingy. It's, it's a Ludia game. <laughs> so they don't... Re the only game I've found that is from Ludia that isn't too stingy is Dragon's Rise of Burke. Uh, strangely enough. Uh, like, but this one... I mean, occasionally. The thing is, I've seen it change so much. So I've seen that the tournaments give out amazing prizes. And now the tournaments give you nothing. It used to be like every battle you were guaranteed a VIP pack. Or, you know, like a, a mystery pack. A VIP mystery pack. Nowadays... You may be lucky if you get one super rare pack from the entire tournament finishing in Dominator. It's amazing. It's amazing to me how they do this. <laughs> I mean, really, all they want to do is, like, make the game last as long as possible. Um, because it's longevity while they're working on the next thing, like Jurassic World Alive Wars. They must have been working on the game for ages. Um, but at the same time... It's a balance. You don't want to, like, stifle the player to the point where they feel like they're getting nothing for their, like, all the hours they're putting into games. Um, so there you go. Level 30, 2,369 health and 1,375 attack. So again, not too great when it comes to health. I mean, yep, health, but pretty decent when it comes to attack. And we'll see what we get here. Oh, some bugs. Fantastic. Kogaven, it is one of many predatory dinosaurs, including Spinosaurus, to have raised spines on its back. Hence the reason why they probably, um... They used the Spinosaurus animation instead of anything else when it came to this. Also, um, the fact that it has decently long arms in comparison to a T-Rex Allosaurus or something like that that's in this game. And of course, Allosaurus still does have two claws and they are not fixing it. They don't care. <laughs> I bet they're like, well, we could fix it, but we've got time. We want to spend time on other things. So I, I can understand. So this is another uh, update. The dinosaur stampede. It used to be you would just defeat nine opponents and that was it. Now it's uh, it's sort of you have to do that three times. Uh, only one herbivore. You kidding me? Only one herbivore. Hell yeah. A Margosaurus. Take it on. So we'll speed this up and we'll win a gold pack here as well as VIP points. So every, every pack you do win, you do get VIP points. And if you really, 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 really wanted to, you could grind the infinite battles and get uh, VIP points from those. However, uh, with everything, all the events that goes on, I don't have, like the infinite battles don't exist to me. Ludi, I want you to listen to that. Infinite battles don't exist to me because I have all these events that take really strong dinosaurs. And then if I was to go down um, all the way to infinite battles and fight, are you freaking serious? I've got to take on those dinosaurs? I, I mean, they look a little bit nerfed from what I'm used to, but 17,000 health. I mean, I, I need three Pachygalosauruses, basically, to take that on. It's not too bad because they are herbivores, but... As well as doing the VIP exclusives, as well as doing these, like, gold awards, gold awards. Go I got three gold award packs here to win. Now one carnival. <gasps> Concavenator versus Indominus Rex. Hell yeah, let's do this. <laughs> so we have to go for one block right away or else we're dead. Um, it's going to be very tricky, this battle. Um, very, very tricky. So he went for one there. Um, so... We have to go for two, because he could have three. And he does have three. And if he attacks us here... Um... Oh, which he does! I don't think we can kill him! Um... I mean, I don't think I can kill him. I have to go for three block here, because he's gonna have three. Hopefully he goes for three here. Four can definitely kill him. I don't think three can. Uh, and that's it with one. Whoa, that was close, though. That was really close. Yeah, three. Oh, no, three! We did kill him! Well, there you go, eh? And... Done and done. 8,800 attack. And uh, there you go. Concavenator level level 30 took on Indominus level 40. Now, if Concavenator was also level 40, uh, there was nothing that Indominus Rex could really do. I think they'd probably be evenly matched, actually. So one Pterosaur. Uh, we'll just take on you. So we need to go for one block here again. Um, I'm sort of saving my dinosaurs for the Stampede or another battle event. If I can, that's really what I need to do. <laughs> um, so... He can't kill me one hit, so I'm going to go for one block, one reserve. Uh, there's nothing he can do now. Um, if he attacks, he's lost. If he blocks, he's also lost. Um, and he decides to go for the attack, leaving me with 13 health. And there you have it. So that is the first gold pack award. 
which also gives us VIP points. I think it's 1,800? Was it 1,300, I think? Uh, oh, no! Oh, it's full! Never mind, no restrictions. And what can we take on with all of this? Um, not using my best creatures. It's gonna have to definitely be a carnival. Um, I'm gonna just put in one Urlophosaurus. I think one Urlophosaurus can take on all of this. So I'm gonna take out Antarctic Pelter. What I could have done, actually, is just go for reserve there. Um, that probably would have been better. But if Indominus Rex does attack me for two... Uh, it doesn't. Okay, I'm gonna go for two block, just in case he doesn't... Oh, yep, I thought so! <laughs> I have to be careful. And there's three. Okay. So, could be worse. Um, one, two. I'm going to go for three block again in case he goes for this. There it is. Okay, hopefully he goes for four now. And does the same amount of damage. Oh, three. Okay. Now, he's going to have five. So, I have to go for this. Three block. He does have five. So, worst case scenario, he goes for five. Um, which he does. Okay. Uh, does a lot more damage. But, he's got nothing now. So... We go for one, two, and we kill him! Yes! If he was one more level, he may have survived. So, I'm going to have to go for that. Uh, I'm going to have to go for three block, just because I know Sundopterus, or the dragon, has over 1,000 attack. Yep, and he could probably kill me in two hits. So, I mean... Oh, I was going to say, the computers are quite generous with how they attack. Uh, but yeah, we get lucky there. And there you go. Ilophosaurus took them all out. We could have probably done it with a weaker team. Um, but, I mean, it was, it's cool if he does it like that. <laughs> so there you go. Demetrodon, some food, coin. Not really worth it, but 1,300 VIP points. That's what we're really there for. Um, and we can almost get another solid gold pack if we really wanted to. And the Boosted Battle Event Arena. Holy mother of God. Oh, Jesus. Uh, but we're going to do the Dino Stampede. <laughs> Um, and we're going to put in good cave in it first, because it's quite cheap, at 119 bucks. So hell yeah, let's put you in first, uh, then Spinoraptor, and then good grief, we need something better, because it's going to be tough. So Microbosaurus, not bad, we can go for there. There's one kill. How many medals can we rack up with concave in it? Well, with a, with a uh, Triceratops, uh, probably a lot, actually. So Triceratops, um, I'm going to go for two reserves here, just because I'm going to make the most out of this opportunity. Uh, because he can only do 78 damage. And I don't think he can switch either. So there you go. That's good. Okay. Um, so we've got five. We can go for one, one, two, and then one, two. So making sure the Monolophosaurus can't do too much to us. So that's a double kill. Not bad. Double kill's pretty good. Um, it should... I mean, we should get a lot more, though. So three, was that all of his attack? Yeah, it might have been, actually. So one, one, two, and then one, two, three. Please tell me he didn't have a block. He didn't. He might. Well, he triple might have. It might have been put in reserve. I'm not sure. I'm not really paying too much attention. So that's the triple kill. <gasps> Gotta love those Halo 3 medals. Oh, four. Ooh, a decent amount of damage. Uh, okay. Uh, one, uh, two, three, and then there we go. I'm going to turn off because it's quite quick. <laughs> overkill. So that's the overkill. Not too bad. Getting there. Getting somewhere. Um, although the, our enemies are really stepping it up quite a lot. Um, ooh, not so good. I'm going to go for that. I'm going to go for four reserves, three block. He's going to have six. If he does go for six, three, six, nine, he might kill us. Oh, he might be dead. Are we dead? Kill Damn joy. it. Oh, we were like 10 off. Nine more health and we would have survived that. Okay. Could be worse. Okay, let's speed this up now. <laughs> now that it's died, who cares? Now, oh, another Triceratops, not bad. Okay. As long as there's not a big amphibian at the end, uh, we're pretty much set. Just depends. Uh, oh, even better, yeah! Spinoraptor is on par with Concaminator, but if Concaminator, like I said, was at level 40, it would be even better. So we're gonna go for one. Kill. Okay, three left. There could be an amphibian at the end, though. It's very likely. Uh, ooh, they're just going all out every time. This is perfect. So we can kill it. Just, just kill it because it's <laughs> by seven. Very Triple lucky. Triple kill. Um, uh, what's the last one going to be? Oh, it's actually fairly easy. Interesting. I wonder if the stampede has anything to do with the dinosaurs you put in because that's not too tough. So might as well go for that. Reserve. Did you have two? No, we only had one. Over Not paying kill. attention because it's pretty much one at this point. 
I need to have anything. So I need even need to factor in two extra. Error Titan. Oh, kill he joy. goes for the kill. Nice. Level 84. If only I could get level 84. And there's a uh, Cerizinosaurus showing its amazingly updated huge eye <laughs> for some reason. There's a big googly eye. And there it is. Oh, I see. Oh, look at my eyebrows. <laughs> there you go. There's 100 DNA. We've got 205,000 DNA. None of the blood is spending on them. So Stampede again. Uh, that was fairly easy. Now, is it going to get tougher? Best dinosaur at 600 attack. Um, let's go for some fairly decent dinosaurs here. Um, okay, yep, may as well. Already starting with 123 attack, but it, of course, because it's got the uh, type bonus, it does a lot more. So, let's have a look. Sorry, I'm a bit snide. Mmm, juicy. <laughs> oh, yes, Pritrodon going all the kill. way. Haven't, of course, leveled up to a level 40 Pritrodon, just because... There doesn't seem to be any real need for it, um, especially when I've got all of the other bloody uh, carnivores. Triple kill. Like maxed Pachygalosaurus. And I think I've got two. I could have two max Severusinosauruses if I really wanted. Uh, so I'm just going to go all out here. Oh, the perfect block. Ooh, five. Not enough to kill me, though. Caprasuchus is more of a health tank, if anything. So he's going to have seven. Yeah, he's got seven. Now he could be. Now he could kill me. Only goes for three, though. Interesting. So that leaves him with four block? No, three block. No, seven. Minus three, five. No, it's four. Yes. <laughs> one, two. One, two, three. Uh, he might not block all the way. And he didn't. Fantastic. I only needed kill. So it brings in Pachycephalosaurus. Ooh, and a Langosaurus. Hmm, okay. So you get 200 DNA from doing this event. Oh, went for three. Oh, okay. Well, we can kill him in one, factor in two anyway, and then four reserves. And oh, he went for three block. I thought he was played it safe with the two. I didn't realize he was going to go for all out block. Okay. Well, that's pretty good for us because one kills him, factor in two, and then may as well do that. And there it is. Now you kill see two is usually the, the safe play to do. Uh, now I'm just going to sneak a leak over here. Uh, not upload a video. <laughs> uh, I'm so not doing that. Uh, what, what video is it again? <laughs> okay, so one, two. Oh, God, he went for an all out. Um, oh, but we got him anyway. There you Kill go. Trocity. So 400 attack. Now 400. It's going to be close. It may even be around about the same, actually. So they're not going to get tougher. Oh, it doesn't go for it. Okay. Uh, we kill him in one, still, and may as well go for one extra, why not, in case he blocked the three. Wait, you did So jar. what's the last one going to be? It is a Spinosaurus at level 105. Now, that should have around about the same attack, even though Aero Titan is more attack, so maybe we'll probably have like 500. So, Fluffy gets the kill, but against Master Dinosaurus, there's nothing that can be done. So I'm just going to go for four attacks on it. Whoosh. So, Spinosaurus, you have 300? 268. So, no, it did not have 600 attack. But I think it had a lot more health. So, yeah. The battles don't get harder. They basically stay the same. And uh, you don't really even need to use creatures this higher level. Yeah. Well, we've learned something. Look at that. It didn't even attack the Spinosaurus and it died. <laughs> There's another 100 DNA. And the final one. Um, let's just use some lower level creatures. So, Carnaraptor, Zalmoxes, and... Uh, Acanthostega. This is where it's obvious. It just goes, yeah, no, this last one's going to be really hard. So, Carn Carnaraptor is really good. I can't remember where it, it ranked in my top 10 dinosaurs. It was pretty high. Pretty high. I wonder if I need to update that list at all. I don't think I do. I think I'm pretty, pretty good with the decisions I made. So, there's two kills. What is it going to go for? That's a double kill. Ooh, one hit. Okay. So he's got a possibility of two blocks. I'm going to go for three reserve. Oh! Ooh, you see that? The little taskbar came up. He was like, I'm going to take you away from this. No, you're bloody well not. Okay. So one kills him, factor in two, and then four reserve. So even if... Oh, he did go for it. That's good. Oh, and against another Carnaraptor. Okay. 359. <gasps> he has five. He could kill me. Oh, he doesn't go for it. Thank God. Okay. One, one, two, and then that. Did he... Oh, no, he's dead as well. <laughs> Car after gone. Brings an Irritator. Who has eight, I think? No, seven. Okay. He could definitely kill me. 
Oh, he goes for it. Bam! There you go. That's a killjoy for you. <laughs> right, so one, two. Uh, factor in one extra because I think he had one block. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. Oh, wow, this game really likes Triceratops for this event, doesn't it? So there's another Triceratops. 408 attack. Okay, goes for two. Ooh, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of damage. Uh, one, two, factor in two, and then four reserve. Ooh, now he might have had more reserve there. He could have blocked for more. So that was lucky. Oh no, never mind. That, 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 we're good. <laughs> So, one, two, kills him, factor in. You know what? I'm going to factor in three block this time. And I wasted it. But at least it's dead. Uh, Guanlong comes in. And that's good because we got uh, a Canthus Staker this time. It was 600 attack, wasn't it? Now he's only got 400. So there's a five. Okay. So we nerf that. Gives us seven. One does not kill it. So factor in two and then one, two. And we should be good. I'm hoping. I mean, we nerf Sukumimus' attack, and there we go. Not even 600 attack at normal. It'd probably be about 500 and odd? 500 and... Oh, uh, math, come on, 552, I think. But there we go, he's definitely dead. Two hits, got three in, bam. So that is two legendary packs now that we've won. I wonder what the difference is between these packs. And another Dimetrodon. Oh. So 650 plus 1,300, and that takes us over to 10,000 VIP points. And we'll collect that. There, there's another 120, and some more super DNA. Uh, well, 1,500. So we just need another, what, 2,500 DNA from that? So more than double. So God knows when that update came out, but double the amount of time, um, and a little bit more. And that's when we'll get into Raptor. Good God. Should I just hack the game? I should just hack the game, shouldn't I? <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video, guys, I know we still have the Booster Battle event to do and the VIP, but uh, I mean, it's already been half an hour. <laughs> and I think that's probably enough time for people to set aside to watch it. You can watch it another day if we do another one. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.